Let's update our approach so that we don't just receive a block of text for our briefing and instead receive a beautifully formatted newsletter style email. Next, we'll add a data transformation step to convert the AI output from markdown format to HTML, since Gmail can handle HTML messages. On the canvas, we'll click the trash can icon on the output arrow line to disconnect Gmail from the flow temporarily. Now, we'll add a new post processing action. Under data transformation, we'll select markdown, we'll set our mode to markdown to HTML, then we'll drag in the AI output variable to the markdown field. Let's click Execute Step to test. The output is looking promising. Now, let's beautify the HTML. After the HTML step, let's add a standalone OpenAI node. We'll select the Message a Model action and pick a model from the list. Next, we'll change the message role below from User to System. A system prompt is what gets sent before any regular user messages are sent, and it helps prime the LLM regarding its intended purpose and expected response. The default system prompt is, you are a helpful assistant, but you can change it to specify how the LLM should respond to any additional inputs that come through. Next for our prompt, we'll say, beautify the HTML below using inline CSS styling for an email. Format it like a modern newsletter. Output only the results without any header elements. Next, we'll click add message, keep the role as user, then drag in the variable containing the results of the markdown transformation to HTML into the field for the user message. Then we'll test this step. Looks good. Finally, let's connect Gmail again to see how the message looks. We'll need to update the variable for the Gmail message. So let's delete the old message, drag in the variable for the content generated by the OpenAI email beautifying step, then execute this step to test it. Let's check it out in the inbox. And there we go. It's looking great now. 